Introduction to IntelliFlow with Digi Remote Manager. With IntelliFlow, Digi Remote Manager can capture outbound data and display it in an easily digestible manner. Plus, it allows you to drill down in more detail on data usage by your devices. In this video, we'll show you how to enable this add-on service and discuss the types of data you can explore with IntelliFlow. Beginning from the dashboard, I want to take a look at the devices. So under the Management tab, select Devices. And so we see this account has two devices. I'm going to select the Digi TX54 dual cellular device and enable IntelliFlow on that device. IntelliFlow is disabled by default. Once I've selected the device, I need to navigate to Settings, go to Configurations, and Monitoring. You will see the fourth one down here is the IntelliFlow option. Here, you want to enable IntelliFlow and select what areas you want to monitor. Typically, you would monitor the external interface, but in this case, I will enable any interface. You can also modify the ports you are monitoring and select specific ports you'd like to monitor. For example, the default HTTP web interface port or the default secure HTTP interface port. In this particular case, I'm going to add an additional port for monitoring remote manager traffic. So I'll select the plus button and enter the information. Once you've enabled IntelliFlow and added any additional ports you'd like to monitor, you simply click the apply button and that enables IntelliFlow. Once it's enabled, the device begins to report its IntelliFlow data to Remote Manager. Returning back to the dashboard, we'll navigate to Insights and Reports, and then we have several options for reports, including an IntelliFlow report. Now, in this particular case, I've enabled a device to report IntelliFlow data to Remote Manager, and it's been reporting for more than 24 hours, and you can see that most of the data has been reported under the No Port name. This would be traffic that is not selected within the report configuration where we are monitoring specific traffic. You can see that we have HTTP traffic, we have the Digi EDP traffic, and then we have some domain traffic, which is DNS lookups and things like that. There's not much data for HTTP or HTTPS traffic. We can sort this traffic by port name, service type, so here again, we have web traffic, we have remote manager traffic, and we have DNS lookup traffic. And then we have this other category that is all the traffic that is not defined within the list of services. And we can be more specific here with port numbers. 443, 3199 for remote management traffic, 53 for DNS traffic, and then again, this non-defined other traffic, which would be traffic that comes in the interface undefined within the list of ports. So under schedule reports, this report can be run daily, weekly, or monthly. You can select how you would like the report to be organized by port name, service type, the actual port number, domain, server address, host addresses, MAC addresses, etc. Change the report name if you'd like, and then choose when that gets sent out. So we would set this weekly, 8 a.m. on Mondays, and it would be the last seven days of information. You can put in a long description here, and you can add additional email, and then you can put in an email address to send that data. After that, you simply schedule the report, and it will generate the report every Monday morning for the previous seven days at 8 a.m. So there you go. Get automated reports and insights into data usage with IntelliFlow.